Hi, I'm Chris with WW Beds Custom Furniture, and this is a Murphy bed that I just finished up. I call this one the Alpine, and the Alpine is characterized by the four flat panel face doors on the front here. We added the stay level desk, the outset lights, and the bookcases on the side here. With the outset lights, we're able to use the lights in the desk position or in the bed position. It also allows us to get a little bit more depth on our bookcases. And that way we can use peripherals on the side, uh, like printers and, and things like that, and have enough depth for that. We also put uh, file drawers in this one. So you have a pull-out file drawer. Uh, we make our own hanging file system, so that way you don't have to have, have those bulky wire racks in there. But uh, one of the cool things about this is the wood choice that we use on this one. This is Rift Cut White Oak. And uh, Rift Cut White Oak is, uh, or the Rift Cut is referring to the actual, how they cut the log, how they cut the lumber out of the log. Uh, we normally we use plain slice. If you picture the log, they'll just you know slice it plainly uh, throughout the log and to get the lumber. Very little waste if it's done that way. Another cut that's real popular and real uh, stable is the quarter sawn. Uh, it's real straight grain, similar to this, but um, uh, the quarter sawn is usually qu they quarter the logs and then they plain slice it at a diagonal to get the straight grain. Uh, this is a rift cut. It has even straighter grain than the quarter sawn, but you produce a little bit more wa waste so it is a little bit more expensive. If you picture a pie and you try to, uh, how you normally slice a pie from the center out, but you usually do it in wedge shapes. Well, if you, if you did more of a rectangle shape, from, starting from the center, you'd have a lot of triangle waste pieces in there. And that's basically what, the, what happens when they do rift cut. Very, very stable because the grain, if you picture the, the, the end grain, the, the radius, the, the growth rings will be going pretty much straight up and down on the rift cut. So, and so it's because of that, there's not a lot of expansion, contraction issues that, that, that would contribute to warpage. Uh, so that's why it's really, and plus it's, it's, it's a very beautiful look to it as well. But like I said, we have the, the stay level desk on this. Uh, what's great about that stay level desk is anything eight and a half inches or lower can stay on the desk without having to move it. This laptop is a little, a little high, so I'll, I'll have to shut it, but your drink can stay on there, all your paperwork, your books can stay on it as you uh, move it into uh, the bed position. But just pull on the handles here. It's very easy to open up, very lightweight. You rotate the leg and take it to the ground. If you notice on here, I have the, have the outset lights. They're still visible. And they're controlled by a touch sensor in the center of the headboard. So you have low, medium, high, and then off. Also, you have a uh, touch sensor here that controls it as well. So you can control it when it's in the, in the desk position. Uh, and I mentioned we had the peripherals on the side. Uh, you also have the drink trays that you can still use. And this is great because you can use it within the bed position as like a little nightstand or in the desk position as an extension to your work surface. But when you're ready to work and uh, just put your bed back up, rotate the leg, and all your stuff, all your stuff is still there, uh, ready for you to continue, to continue your work. But this is our Alpine Murphy bed in the Rift Cut White Oak from WW Beds Custom Furniture.